everybody of you is now using regularly face mask like this one. And we would like to talk today about the individual kinds of masks and especially about medical masks. In this pandemic situation we are in right now, um, the need for face masks is increasing dramatically. So recently uh, manufacturers that were producing actually other things or were specialized in manufacturing other things started to produce also masks with the goal to market them as medical masks. My name is Wilma Hartung. I am here in Tefreinland responsible for medical devices in Germany and today I would like to talk with you about medical masks. There are three different uh, types of masks. There are the medical mask, there are the uh, personal protective masks that, that are the FFP masks and the third uh, kind are the commodity masks. A medical device can be anything from a plaster to an x-ray machine to an implantable hip implant and can also be a medical mask. And they all have in common that they are having a medical purpose. And the medical purpose, for example, in the case of medical masks, is to prevent diseases. Medical masks are used usually in a hospital by a doctor or nurses, and they shall protect the patient. And that means, for example, during a surgery, um, if a doctor is uh, wearing a medical mask, then it shall protect the patient from, for example, infectious droplets. So a manufacturer can uh, produce face masks and if he defines that these face masks shall be used in a hospital by a nurse or by a doctor, then it is a medical device. And then it must fulfill all requirements for medical devices. The most important thing is that a medical device needs to fulfill the requirements of either the medical device directive or the medical device regulation. That means, for example, that uh, the manufacturer has to uh, prepare a technical documentation for his medical mask. And in addition, they need to consider the standard 146 a3 uh, for medical masks. Medical masks are classified into the lowest risk class of medical devices. That's class 1 if they are not sterile. And uh, in contrast to the higher risk classes, um, there is no need that a third party is looking at the uh, results of, for example, the tests of medical mask and also the compliance with the medical device directive and or regulation. And thus we as TÜV Rheinland can actually offer um, certain reports, uh, for example, that we uh, review the technical documentation that we uh, perform uh, testing of the medical mask according to the 14683 um, and we can offer um, a tested medical device mark and this goes beyond the regulatory requirements so we offer then technical file documentation review and in addition an annual inspection of the uh, factory. Thank you for watching this video today. If you have any question, please feel free to contact us. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.